Thanks for watching. I'm going to be as brief as I can. Um, to log a student in, use uh, his or her first name. Um, so if it's Bob, B-O-B, -B, and then say enter two times. Don't type a password. Uh, just say enter, enter, and that will log the student in. So different students have different kinds of switches. Most students access with one switch. Some students access with a mouse. And there's one student who's accessing with two switches. Um, on Thursdays, we read, and you will usually want the black box behind the computer. There's a, there's a black box hiding behind the computer um, to have a yellow light. There's a little thing at the top that you use to switch the light, okay, no pun intended, um, to whatever color you need. However, you almost always want it to be blue. So, if weird things are happening, um, then you probably want to change it to blue. If nothing is happening, then let's follow the chain from here to here. But let's do that with a battery powered switch since that's usually where things are most likely to go awry. In this activity, the student is supposed to be able to hit the switch and something's going to happen on the screen. My activities are really this simple, but sometimes when you're trying to engage a student, be, anyway, you're not going to see something like this probably in my class. But nothing's happening. So let's follow the chain of problems that might arise from the computer to the switch. Sometimes, especially if this thing is blinking, I just need to unplug it and plug it back in. I would start by doing that. May not be necessary this time. I mean, I rigged it, of course, so I know it's not necessary. Uh, also, I would check to make sure that this is blue or if I'm having it click, like when I'm reading a book on Thursdays, I'll make sure it's yellow. Okay. By the way, I say reading a book on Thursdays, you are always free to change the activity when I'm not here. Don't feel like you've got to do a specific photo. Anyway, okay, so for this kind of switch, it needs batteries to be able to wirelessly interface. So it could definitely run on batteries, or one of the things could definitely be off. This is called a dongle, of course, and it's set to on, but I would want to make sure it's not set to off. Okay, I can always verify that by hitting the test. And if the test doesn't light up red, don't hold it down, please. Uh, but push it once. If it doesn't light up red, it's a problem. If it does light up red, you're good, okay? Um, to remove batteries, all mine are rechargeable, and I have a place to put those. I've left a secret box in the corner of the room behind the screen that says batteries, if you wouldn't mind leaving my rechargeables in there. Anywho, okay, so we talked about batteries. Um, so that's where dongle batteries are. They are double A. Looks like that one's lighting up red, so the dongle's working okay. The interface there's a blue light, it's working okay. Um, let's check the switch out. I see this light is not lighting up red. There's a little light on the side of this kind of switch. And since it's not lighting up, either it's off or it's out of batteries. So I will unscrew the top. Here's an on-off switch. It's set to off. I'll turn it on, and I see that this blinks red. Okay, so now, whenever I hit the switch, something's happening on the screen. Okay, so it looks like that was the problem. In this case, this was set to off. So there are a few things to check, and that was what I wanted to run through. Let's talk about this, these arms for a second. It looks a little complicated, but there are just two things to remember. There's a big lever in the middle. When you turn this lever, everything goes limp, okay? So you are able to position it however you're able to for the student, okay? Whatever's best for uh, his or her mode of access, and then lock it, and it might take a few tries to get used to that. The other really important thing to remember is the big one at the bottom. This is how you attach it to the chair or whatever it is that you are anchoring it to, okay? Um, and if you have any questions, try to ask somebody who's done it before. There should be a few uh, around new owners. Some students have seizures. Um, if uh, you um, know of a student who does, please make sure that they have a chair that has arms on the side to support them and ensure safety. There's one student in period four and one student in period eight um, who accesses um, activities by using something called a table tapper. So if you wouldn't mind setting sensitivity in seconds to whatever their documentation says, but the most important thing, um, second most important thing is to set this to timed to turn it on. These silly things are battery powered for no particular reason instead of using USB power. So unfortunately, we have to turn this to off before you leave. Otherwise, uh, it stays on for a very long time and then it's a little bit hard to change the 9-volt battery that's inside, um, which is a huge nuisance if I'm not here. So my apologies if that does happen and uh, you come to class and it's out of batteries. But um, please 
turn it to off, which is in the middle, so it's kind of awkward to turn off. But when it is on, then you access the activity by slamming the desk, okay? Um, so the students that sit at computer B over here in the corner, that's how they access the activity. Most important thing when you leave class, turn it to off. I would appreciate it. Thank you.